because the reason why we in this state today is because the majority of our people, we think that Christ is a white man. Christ is not a white man, right? He is a so-called black man. That's right. Christ has skin just like my brother right here. Extremely dark. Bring it out. But our people over here going to the movies, watching Passion of the Christ, crying for fake white Jesus, and then worshiping their ways, worshiping these people. Right. Christ has nothing to do with the Caucasian race. He has everything to do with the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. That's right. Where we at? Revelation. One in, uh, one in uh, 14, Rick. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. You hear that, my brother? My brother with the hoodie over here. You hear that? The scriptures say his head and his hairs were what? White like wool. Who's that talking about, bro? Who's that talking about? That's talking about Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. The scriptures say his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. All right, so what, what are we proving? We're proving that Christ was a dark-skinned black man. Right. My brother, my brother over here with the, with the blue cuffy. My brother right here with the blue... Uh, uh, Durag, come deal with us real quick. What's your name, bro? Do you smoke at all? You smoke cigarettes, bro? Come through real quick, bro. Let me deal with you. So, so who are you according to the Bible, my brother? What's your name? What's your name? T-Mac. T-Mac? Okay, my brother T-Mac. All right, so what we're going over is that our people, right, the so-called black, yeah, you can Step out, this is for our and your, you know, safety. All right, so we're teaching that the so-called blacks and Hispanics, according to the Bible, we are the real Jews, right? You ever heard that before? We are the real Jews of the Bible. All right, so the people today calling themselves Jewish, they are fake. God is not dealing with them at all. Give me um, Joel chapter 2, verse 27. I'm going to show you something. Because a lot of people not only think that those so-called white those Amalek, according to the scriptures, those Jewish people, they call themselves the chosen people of God. But God is not only dealing with, he's not dealing with them, right? He's not only dealing with them, he's only dealing with us, right? And he's not dealing with the, the, West, the rest of the races either, right? He's only dealing with one people. We haven't been taught that. We've been taught that, you know, they, they as a people, they're the chosen. We've been taught that we are the Gentiles, we are the heathen. And so we accept that heathen lifestyle. We accept that, that bottom treatment. God is trying to wake his people up. Hey, you, you better than that. Those people today calling themselves Jews, they're faking it. I need y'all black people to wake up. You are my chosen people. That's what this Bible says. Watch this, read. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Uh -huh. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So God says, ye shall know. One day the whole world is going to know that God is in the midst of Israel. Right? And, and what else? And that I am the Lord your God. God says, he is the Lord your God. Right? He is your God. He is our God. He is all the so-called blacks and Hispanics. He's our God. Right? There's more. Just wait for it. And none else and what and none else you hear that last part he said in none else what does that mean brother Trey Mac right Trey Mac what is it what does that mean that means he's not dealing with nobody else right he only cares about us That's right. you understand that we are his chosen people but there's something that comes with that give me a Deuteronomy 10 and 12 we are the Israelites of the Bible all right we're not black, we're not colored, we're not niggas, we're not Negroes, we're not slaves to these other nations. We are the chosen people of God. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, when doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. 
but to fear the Lord like God. So as the, the most high God, right? As his son, you as his son, God requires something specific from you, brother Trey Mack. And for the rest of our people, for my sister over here, for my brothers on the corner over here, something is required from us all. Read on. To walk in all his ways. To do what? To walk in all his ways. So, so the scriptures say we are required to do something. Did it say to walk in some of his ways or to walk in all of his ways, brother Trey Mack? Did it say some or all? Read it again for him. To walk in all his ways. Brother Trey Mack, did it say some or all? It says all, right? We are required to walk in all of his ways. Read on. And to love him uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. To keep the commandment. To do what? To keep the commandments That's so right. what are, what are we required to do my sister right here recording in the back what are we required to do by god keep his commandments, keep his commandments. That's right. so the reason why we out here in the ghettos all right is because we are not keeping his commandments my sister we're not keeping god's commandments what are we doing we're out here smoking on the block we are here selling death and destruction to our own people. Right. And guess what? That is hatred according to God. Right. Give me that in 1 John chapter 3. That is hatred according to the Most High God. So think about that, black man. Every time you sell dope to your own people, you're selling death to God's chosen people. Right. You're selling destruction to God's chosen people. Right. You're smoking on Tuka. I don't even know what that is, bro. <laughs> for murdering somebody. Oh, it's, it's a, for murdering somebody. Now, look, we went from selling drugs to our own people, right? Uh, allowing our people to, to, to die slowly, to now we're talking about murder. Now we're talking about shooting somebody up. What's wrong with our people? We need these laws, man. We are in a, a, an extremely dead state. We are dead. We are the walking dead out here. We don't care about one another. Right. We've been conditioned by these other nations to hate each other. Right. To hate the next person that looks black like me. Right. But let's see what the Lord says about hatred. Go ahead, Ray. First John chapter 3, verse 15. Right. Yeah. Whosoever hate of his brother. Whosoever among you Israelites, because remember, you're not black. Remember, you're not Negroes, according to the God, according to the Bible, you are the chosen people. You are the Israelites. That's right. Whosoever among you, read on, hateth his brother. You hate your own people. What, what is a, a form of that? Selling drugs to your own people. Right. If you're a drug dealer and you sell drugs to your own people, guess what? You hate them. Teach. You hate them. Right. You hate your own people. Right. You are for the destruction of your own people. Right. Read on. Yeah. Whosoever hate of his brother uh -huh. is a murderer. Is a what? Is a murderer. God calls them a what? A murderer. And what's going to happen to the murderer? What is God going to do to that murderer that hates his own people? Read on. And ye know, excuse me. And you and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life. And no, no murderer among the Israelites, you so-called blacks, you so-called Hispanics, no, no eternal life is for you. Right. right. The book of Second Peter, chapter three, verse ten. Bring it out. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Did you get a fly, sis? Did you get a fly? Make sure my sister over here get a fly, all right? All right, read on. In the which the heavens shall pass away. Y'all hear that? Which the heavens shall pass away. Right, that's talking about the elements. Read on. With a great noise. With a great noise. Who knows what that great noise is talking about? What's that great noise talking about? Boom. Boom. 
everywhere around the world. Boom. That's what that's talking about, that great noise. Nuclear fire is coming to this place to burn up everybody that partakes in iniquity, that partakes in selling death and uh, destruction to their own people. That's what that boom is for, who the Lord is allowing these other nations to create these nuclear missiles for. They're going to go off one day. But who is it for? Make sure it's not you. Read. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. With what kind of heat? With fervent heat. That's the worst kind. That's the worst kind of heat. That's the hottest. Read on. The earth also and the works that are therein. The earth and the works. What is that going into? The works. That's going into everybody that sins. Everybody that breaks God's commandments is going to experience this right here. Read on. And the works that are therein shall be burned up. Shall be burned up. You know what that means? That means your drug dealers are going to be burnt up. That means the gangbangers are going to be burnt up. That means our our sisters out here selling their bodies are going to be burnt up. That means everybody that breaks God's commandments are going to be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. So, So scriptures say seeing that how all of these things must come to pass because it's prophecy. No prophecy can be broken. So it's going to happen one day. Read. What men or persons ought ye to be? So what does that mean for us? How shall we be living as God's chosen people? Read. In all holy conversation. In all holy conversation. So if all day you listen to rap music, right? Because we all know what they're talking about. Right, they now we got our sisters talking about my booty hole brown and my coochie pink. That's that's the estate of black people now. Right, come up. And the men been doing that garbage, been talking about killing their ops that look just like them. Right, Right. we been doing that, following that foolishness. And they they all they put it behind a, a catchy beat too, to make you come back to it. For you to be hypnotized with those words. Right. You gotta understand what that's doing to us. We don't wake, we, we, we're not born into the world to become murderers. We have to be conditioned to be like that. Right. What's conditioning our minds to be like that? The media, these movies, our music, the things we decide to consume on a day to day basis right. that we must remove from our lives. Right. Right. We got to gather ourselves together, like the scriptures say, hold that, go to that. We have to gather ourselves together in holiness, right? And in spirit and truth of this Bible and our understanding who we really are so that we can have better than what we have out here. People, look, there's a church right here and right outside this church that's supposed to wake the people up, right? right. We got crackheads out here tweaking out. Lined up on the curb, just tweaking. Tweaking from what? From their own people. Trying to have a come up. We don't care about each other, man. We care about this money. The love of money is the root of all evil. We'll do anything for gain. Do anything for clout. We gotta move, we gotta remove that from our minds. Where we at? Zephaniah. All right. Zephaniah. Chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. You hear what the Bible says, my brother, my sisters in the back? God says, gather yourselves together. That's talking about somebody specific. That's not talking about everybody. That's not talking about the so-called white man. They don't need this Bible. They thrive. They on top right now. This is talking about the people on the bottom. The people that the Lord chose. He says, gather yourselves together. Read. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. We are that nation not desired. How can you tell? 
How can you tell we are that nation not desired? We are that hated people. Right. What's some examples? Look around you. Where do you live? Y'all in the suburbs right now? Y'all living it up right now? Y'all in mansions? Hell no. We in the hoods. Right. We in the hoods. And this is where they conditioned us to be and to stay right. and to maintain ourselves. So they're they going to continue to pull all these things out in the media, in these movies, and in music, because they want us to, to continue to be in the deadest state. Right. So God says, gather yourselves together, because they're always going to promote that to you. Right. They're not going to stop. We are like livestock to them. We're not people to them. To God, God says we are gods. The Lord says we are supposed to be ruling this planet. That's right. But the nations say they ain't, they ain't nobody. The nations say they monkeys. The other nations say that they, they, they're trash. Right? They're ghetto. They're niggas. They're everything except for what God created us to be. Right. That's what the nations say. So who should we listen to? Should we listen to the other nations or should we listen to the Bible? Or should we listen to God? We need to start listening and following after the Lord. He says, gather yourselves together. Read on. Yea, gather together, whole nation not desired. So we are to gather ourselves together under one banner. Under the banner of the faith in Christ. Under understanding that we are his chosen people, we got to start keeping the commandments. Because that's what God is here the breaking of God's commandments is what God is here. What led us to the land of America and slave ships. That's right. Let's get that. Deuteronomy 28. Let's prove that from the Bible. God told us that. God told us from way back when that if you Israelites, if y'all break my commandments, oh, y'all going to get it. He said, y'all going to get it. If y'all are rebellious towards my laws, just wait and watch what I let happen to you. And look where we are today. Tweaking out here on these corners. Bring it out. We should have listened from the beginning. Nation is men leading by example.